This is the 13, 14 boys butterfly. In lane two, Marco Pineda. Three is Alex Hundemer. Four, John Michael Stagliano. Five is Wesley Chapman. We've been uh, we've been asked to we've been asked to comment. No, no, we're not going to comment on that. We have been asked to give shout outs. If you have a shout out, send me or that you want us to give. Send me your press in a text. Anna Sawyer wants a shout out. Shout out to Anna Sawyer. They, uh, they just announced a score. Sea Farm has a lead by 268 points. So it's, all, it's cut into it a little bit so far today, but still got a good lead. Yep, long way to go, though, for sure. Those points in that last event not been factored in yet. This is Heat 2 in the water. And another false start. William Powell's in one, Daniel Shokes in two, Davis Ginn in three, Jack Doty in four, Julian Hughes in five, and Rave Kopko in six. If you want a shout out, don't tweet at me, text me. Just gonna say that right now. But if you want to follow me on Twitter, David underscore reader. Uh, we'll have a lot of we'll have coverage from the Olympics coming up in just a few weeks. So uh, gotta plug that right now as the win there goes to Jack Doty. Followed there by Daniel Shokes. As Heat three in, up on the blocks right now. Drew Owens in one, Corey Ankerman in two, James Brown in three, Kate Heinold in four. Lawson Merle in five, and uh, Nicholas Fagley in six. So a lot of these starts are being held up. When the, when the starter says, take your mark, you have to come down and actually be motionless before you hear the beep. So yeah. all swimmers out there watching, make sure that happens. In an elite level competition, if you move forward at all in the box, if you flinch, you're done. Happens in the Olympics, Olympic trials, anything like that, you're done. Um, and we, we've, we've seen it happen. Time and time again, potential world champion in 100 freestyle last year was actually DQ'd. But check out my buddy Lawson Merle coming on here. He's going to win the heat in 29.62. A drop of almost two seconds. And I can't see Nick Ringe down there from Park Shore, but I'm sure he is perfectly happy at the moment. P4, no, no award is in one. Gavin Milligan in two. Jack Webb in three. Andrew Mitchum in four. Noah Boykin in five. Aaron Wheat in six. So Preston, we were, uh, we were talking about some butterfly technique tips earlier. Let's just check. The microphone is on. We, 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 uh, we missed it earlier. So what are you looking to see in a good butterfly? So you want to make sure that, uh, that the kick is driving the most, the, the, the kick is going to be the main driving force in the stroke. So you want to make sure you have two kicks per cycle, per stroke. Uh, you should kick once when your hands enter the water, and then once again when your hands exit the water. Yeah, it's, it, timing in butterfly is so key. Andrew Mitchum, head down into the wall, 30.35, he takes it. Who we just interviewed, and some fans behind us pretty pleased. See that? By 1 100th over lane number three, Jack Webb. Again, without the cap and the goggles. Second to last heat now. Quentin Earls in one, Adam McCanna in two, Jefferson Taylor in three, Daniel Brinson in four, Ethan Williams in five, Ryan Poole in six. Nice underwater work there for Jefferson Taylor. You don't see that a lot from 13-year-olds and 14-year-olds. Good tempo, getting his, uh, his rear end out of the water every stroke. Win this heat easily. Nice time, 27. 0.69. Second there was Ethan Williams in 28.98. Last team here. Let's see. Let's see what the city city champion is going to look like. We don't have the city record. We've been tearing out the pages as we've uh, gone. Hayden Condors in one. Connor Westbrook in two. Charles Blocker top team in three. Ryan Troy in four. Something. Willem Godecki has it. 
Oh, of course he does. Ryan Troy in four, Josh Adams in five, Garrett Tupper in six. Anyone's race here, Charles Blunt from Snee Farm. Watch out for lane two, he's making a comeback here. It's Kusan and Snee Farm, just like it is in the team race. Snee Farm's gonna take this one. Yep. Charles Blunt, 25, seven, four. I believe he missed the city record there, but it was pretty close. We'll keep an eye on those city records from here on out. Second there was Westbrook, and third was Adams for the Northbridge Terrace. Killer Wells.